In part 12 of our SharePoint Basics um, little series, we're going to be looking at the type of columns we can add in apps. So we know that apps are things like document libraries, lists, calendars, task lists, news feeds, all of those are apps that we use to do things with. And uh, in this example, I'm actually going to be building a custom list from scratch. So as I always do, I go to site contents first, and then from there, I normally would go and say new app. So um, you can add columns on document libraries on any of the apps. So we're going to just use a custom list. And as mentioned before, custom lists are for building apps from scratch. So think of an, a blank Excel spreadsheet. Um, I think I will add, I'm going to just uh, do incident management just as an example. Well, so there's my new custom list. I can immediately go to settings straight from here and I can then rename this. So there we go, our um, app is renamed um, and the URL still stays short and sweet. So remember that it creates a title column by default. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the title column for one of my columns. It's much better to plan this from Excel, by the way. So to plan your columns in Excel, I'm gonna call this a short description. This is also the URL clickable field that it'll use. Then the next column we're gonna add, and I'm gonna have to go through this quite quickly will be let's see what's next up multiple lines of text this is not going to be an order for my app now of course i just want to go through all of these normally we use um, um multiple lines of text for comments and things and of course there's a lot of settings you can set on those we'll come back to a lot of those then um, i'm also going to add a choice column so let's say type of incident and we'll say health, um, safety, quality, uh, check, where are we, environmental. Okay, always take out your default value in your choice columns. Then we'll also add, let's have a look, there's choice. On choice, remember, you can also make it multiple um, choices. So number, of course, is easy. So I can say ah, days since incident. I know that doesn't uh, quite make sense at the moment, but number, and I'm going to make it zero decimals. Let's take a look at the other types of columns we can add. Um, number, currency, of course, is value. So cost of incident, and you can set up how many decimals, decimals it does have. And then also, of course, the currency that you use. So I'll use czar. Currency, date and time, so date of incident. You can, uh, of course, set it to friendly dates, which says uh, 8th of August or um, standard dates. Then uh, lookups we're going to deal with separately so checkbox so I can say um, escalate I actually don't know now if it's two L's or not we'll just leave it as one L for now um, and I'm going to set it to no by default personal group so let's say in investigating ooh, spelling investigating officer as a personal group, we wanted to show name with presence. Then we have a hyperlink or picture, calculated column, um, task outcome, external data, manage metadata. So manage metadata, I'm going to deal with uh, with lookups as well. So let's just still do a hyperlink or picture. Hyperlink or picture, I can link to any other website, of course. I can also link to an existing document. So for example. Um, refer to policy and this is where I can then paste the link in so I can also display an image this is where I can paste the link in so just very quickly going through the different type of columns you can add I am going to cover some more of them in um, in later ones so let's just look at our app and that people is how quickly it is to build the app in five minutes flat out short description type of incident, date value, cost of incident, um, escalate yes or no, investigating officer, um, I can put a URL in there and I can add attachments to that. We're definitely going to branch out a bit on some of the columns, so I'll uh, check in with you soon again.